Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel XGN Protein X. In this tutorial video, I'm going to talk about isolation of the PBMC from human blood. So let's begin. So first, we need to know about the PBMC. So PBMC is basically it includes lymphocytes, that is, are the T cells, B cells, and NK cells, and also other monocyte and dendritic cells. So in brief, the PBMC include lymphocytes, monocytes, and dendritic cells. And the range of these cells it varies. The lymphocyte, monocytes, and dendritic cells, these ranges are different in the individual to individual. So next, uh, the blood that we need to be used for the isolation of the PBMC that need to be collected in heparin tube. Why? Why is heparin preferred over EDTA? So we need to know that this is very much important. So basically, EDTA we know that EDTA is the chelating agent and it bind with the calcium so it forms calcium edta but we know very well that calcium is very much important for the immune cells functions so there are one uh, cytokine stimulator that is known as the ionomycin so this ionomycin it induces calcium transportation to the cells and this calcium this is very much important for the immune cells for their tr transcription their cytokine signaling and also for other function so this is why so if the calcium edta it form so it reduces the calcium availability in the cells so this is why you need to use always the heparin tube for the for collection of the blood if you use for in vitro analysis and for any kind of immune cells functioning all right so next we need to know about the protocol for the PBMC isolation. So first I uh, need to mix the whole blood with the sterile PBS 1 is to 1 ratio. So in this process you need to be performed in aseptic condition. So first you need to put the fecal pack this 15 ml reagent into a 15 ml sterile tube. So I use this I use personally this uh, fecal pack plus this reagent this is from the G healthcare so this is very much good this is I got the pretty much good uh, PBMC viability and also uh, the PBMC cell isolation is very good for this using this reagent so I recommend to use this reagent so after taking the fecal pack then you need to use very carefully through the uh, the tube or tube uh, wall you need to put the blood carefully and very gently all right so you need to be careful that you should not mix the layers there are the fecal pack layer and the blood layer it should not be mixed together all right and the this fecal pack and the blood this ratio should be approximately one is to two so after this, you need to centrifuge in 100 G 20 minutes without any break. So after the centrifuge, very carefully you need to take out the tube and you will notice the different component of the blood layer. So first one is the plasma, then PBMC, then fecal pack and then the lower one is the RVC. Alright. So next, uh, you need to very gently you need to discard the blood plasma blood plasma layer and then uh, you need to collect the pbmc in the another sterile tube eventually you need to wash it twice with the sterile pbs and the pbmc need to be collected all right so this is a very simple process but you need to be very careful in each and every step to collect the pbmc so this is uh, I got it. Uh, this is the tube. So in this tube, the total volume it should not be exceeded 45 ml. So here you can see that the the first one is the the blood plasma, then the PBMC, then the fecal pack. This is very transparent, and the lower one that is the RBC. All right. So next is the PBMC counting. So after getting the PBMC, so in to add. 1 or 2 ml RPMI media or PBS to mix well and then you need to check 
the you need to count the cells right so here for the counting process you can use the 1 is to 1 mixture of the trichrome blue and 2% acetic acid why acetic acid because uh, in this process the rbc may mix with the pbmc so if there is any rbc contamination then the acetic acid it lies the rbc so you will get only the viable PBMC counting in this process if we use 1 is to 1 mixture of the trypan blue and 2% acetic acid. And alternatively, you can also use RBC lysis buffer. The RBC lysis buffer, it eventually it lies the RBC. But RBC actually, if it is it present, because RBC contain no nucleus, right? So this is why it cannot divide. So after one or two passage, the RBC it can, it can it can uh, lies by itself so it does not influence the experiment so next is the culturing of this pbmc so after counting and everything when you've done then you can culture in the 24 well or 96 well plate and uh, this is rpmi 1640 10 percent fps and 2 millimolar glutamine you to use so glutamine this is the alternative source for this glucose so you can use this process I think it will be I will get the enough number of the PVMC and good viability. All right. So this is all about the isolation of the PVMC. So if you have more questions about PVMC isolation, you can write in the comment section. So if you like this video, kindly hit the like button, share it, and please and please subscribe my channel to grow my channel better. So thanks for watching.